y'all and welcome back to another video y'all see my child back there so you guys so let me tell you what we doing today i just got off work shit shoot i'm really trying to stop cursing like seriously i i really am i really am y'all hear my ac let me let the window down so that hot air can get out um we about to go to the to the walmart to the wally world we about to go to walmart um i need to pick up some pico de gallo some pico de gallo however you pronounce it but i need to go pick up that um what else do i need to do so i'm, I'm making we eating tacos tonight but I'm making the tortillas from scratch, you know. I'm just playing. I'm please nobody get offended. I'm just playing, okay? <laughs> so we about to do that and then we so we're finna go to Walmart, finna go pick up some Pico de Gallo. I could make it myself, but I really like the way they make it. So I'm just gonna go to Walmart and do it. I have bought some um the corn masa flour. So corn masa flour. I'll show y'all later. I had bought that to make my own tortillas because this store that I be going to um, to buy my homemade tortillas, that's what they use. So I was like, why buy it when you know I can go ahead and make my own? So I'm gonna go ahead and get get that, and then I need to buy a tortilla press. So hopefully Walmart got one. If not, then I gotta go to Walmart. I mean to Target. I saw that Target had one. So we're gonna go to Walmart. I also need to go to the hair store because, yeah, she got on a little hat piece, but her hair gonna get done. Nevea hair gotta get done too. Say hi. All right, now I'm gonna move out my video. <laughs> so y'all, when we get to Walmart, I don't know if I'm gonna record inside of there because I didn't bring my stand. I didn't bring my stand, but if I do record, don't come for me if it's like jittery and stuff because I'm gonna I'm a have the bad report, you know? But anyways, let me go get what I need to get. I would just want to talk to y'all while I crank up this car real quick. Coming back with another video. I told you guys, I'm gonna be on point. I'm holding me accountable. You get what I'm saying? I'm holding me accountable. I do be wanting to try that curbside, but y'all, I like to go inside of the store and look. Let me go, I'm wasting time. I'm wasting time. So, yeah, I will see y'all when we get to Walmart. More than $5.99, I wasn't gonna get it. But I got this hair right here. So we're gonna see how this works out. So I got that hair. I might have to go back to the hair store and get more hair. Um, I don't know. Then I got Nevaeh's friend a doll for her birthday. Ain't she cute, y'all? She's so cute. Okay, Walmart. I want, I'm gonna go back and get you one. That's cute. And got her little outfit. So, got that. Put that away for your friend. Okay. So, my tacos. 
We got cilantro. Let me show y'all. So we got cilantro. We got lime. Two limes. I got you put this away. Pico de gallo. So it is mild. Oh, y'all, this gonna be so good. I got some um, pigeon peas, cause I don't know if I have some, so I just bought it just in case I didn't. We recycle bags over here. And I got some <clears throat> taco meat. It is called corn, corna picada. Let me bring it to y'all. I don't know, I'm not even gonna try to speak it. So if y'all can see, so if y'all wanna know, I got this and I got this from Walmart. Um, y'all, this tastes so much better than, um, this meat right here tastes so much better than ground beef for tacos. I did not get the taco press because we, I didn't feel, one, I didn't feel like I'm a target. And then two, I looked up a way on how to do the tacos without the taco press on YouTube. So y'all stick around. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything situated. And when I come back, we will be cooking the tacos. What I'm about to do is season the meat. I clean the meat, that is still liquid. Let me get that little bit of liquid out. I cleaned it with vinegar and water. Let me get that out. So, I just got some of the liquid out. I'm trying to get as much as I can. This meat is kind of hard to clean, but guess what? We still about to clean it. Thank you, Nevaeh. So we got this, so we're gonna season it with salt. Hmm. Nope. Go ahead, salt, onion, garlic. You need to feed them dogs first before you go. Onion, garlic. I got ground white pepper, which is good. Ah, there we go. Paprika. Ground thyme. You can hear my fan back there on. Don't worry about that. Cumin. A lot. <laughs> a cumin. I might go ahead and use all of it. So cumin, I just used a lot of it. And regular pepper. I don't have any um, onion powder, but that's okay because we're gonna chop up some onion. So we're gonna chop up some, uh, yeah, we're gonna chop up some onions. We're gonna put some garlic in here and we got um, some pepper. So they both gonna get chopped up, put in here as well, okay? So we're gonna mix that together. And I know some people, they don't mind about touching the meat. I don't mind neither, but I just don't. I feel like I keep washing my hands. <laughs> so you're just gonna do the meat. And this how it should look. So y'all see how that meat look? So this how it should look. Y'all, it smells so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it. So. <gasps> do, 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 do. Put it right here. Hey guys, um, right now what you're gonna see is me cooking my rice. I go ahead and I clean my rice like three or four times until it gets like really, really clear. I'm gonna cut open up the pigeon peas and then I'm gonna drain the liquid. Once that liquid is drained, I am going to add the pigeon peas 
to the rice. Now, mind you, my rice is on. It is on medium right now. There is no water in it um, at all. So it's just the rice in there. I like to let it get like a little dry, like a little dry out before I put the water and everything in there. So I'm going to add my oil. I cook with oil uh, when I do my rice. My husband, he does with butter both ways. They both turn out fine. I don't know here if I added the salt and pepper, but usually I always add the salt and pepper before I get ready to um, do my rice. So a good rule of thumb is like if you're going to make rice, which guys, I make rice all the time. <laughs> so <laughs> I learned to perfect it. I usually do just like one cup of rice. So one cup of rice, two cups of water. And that's the same thing even when I'm adding in my peas. Like, I still do the same. One cup of rice, two cups of water. So, I think I was just still, like, letting some of that liquid um, drain out. And then I'm going to add my Saison seasoning. One of my friends, she had taught me how to cook the Spanish rice. And I was like, man, this is so easy. But the only thing I did not add is the sofritas because my husband does not eat pork. Well, we don't eat pork at all. And a lot of the sofritas out here, they do have um, pork or lard inside of it. So we opt out of that. So I just add all my seasonings, guys. You want to season your rice before you cook it. So sometimes that sounds like sometimes I do it and then sometimes I don't. It all depends on you. We like our food here very seasoned <laughs> to the gods. Do you hear me? Okay. Season. Season your food no matter what it is. Um, and right, y'all see I did add a whole lot of pepper, but guess what? We, when we eating it, you're not even going to like tell. Like I couldn't even tell I added that much pepper. But so I did my rice, my peas, added my saison packet. If you wanted to make Spanish rice, then you'll add your, um, your pigeon peas as well. Then your uh, sofritas. And also you'll add a tomato paste base in a chicken bouillon um i had chicken stock but i was saving my chicken stock for something else and i did not buy tomato paste so if you don't have it guys just use what you have okay and as you can see i'm going to get ready to add my two cups of water to my rice now here's the trick to getting the perfect rice every time let your rice boil before you Put the lid on it and you put it on low. You want your rice to boil first, then simmer. Once it starts boiling, simmer, mix it around again, and then put it on low with the lid. You're going to leave it with the lid on simmer for 20 minutes. When it is done, you're going to turn off the rice and you're still going to keep it on the same eye for like another 10 to 15 minutes or so, okay? you'll get the perfect rice every single time. Okay, so I might be out of the frame, but we're using this right here, the Mastipa <laughs> instant yellow corn flour, and we have a cup and a half of water. So the directions say to add two cups of the flour and then the water and mix for two minutes. So let's do that. So this is my first time making it, so we're doing it together. And I still got my um, tacos and rice is still cooking. So we need two cups. So one cup and then two cups. Two cups. There we go. And then we need the water. Okay, and then and then it says mix for two minutes.
my little concoction press I put together is saran wrap, um, my cutting board, and also I saran wrap a plate. I saw this on YouTube actually, but um, they saran wrap two cutting boards, only had one. So guys, as you can see, it came out small, but when I was looking at the instructions, it said five centimeters. So if you're going to use the instant, um, the corn ones, you definitely, you're going to be making street tacos. And that's not what I wanted. I didn't want the street tacos. So the next time I do the flour, I, the next time I buy where I can make my own tortillas, I'm going to buy the the white flour kind because I saw that one too. And that one is mainly for tortillas as well. That's the one that I'm going to get. So I will combine two of the balls together and look, it still was kind of like the, the same size. And then again, I was like, man, it's my plate because I can't push it down as hard as I want to because that is a glass plate. Um, <laughs> so what I went and did is grab my rolling pin and I am going to cover that with saran wrap as well so that we could just roll it out to get it to the desired length. Now, guys, this was a fail, uh, but guess what? It was already too late for me to run to the store to go grab some tortillas when I already had the food cooking. And I really wanted to try to do it by myself because it's just a lot of ingredients that my husband cannot eat that I try to avoid and just do it homemade for myself. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to take it off and then I'm going to throw it in the skillet and you do fry it for like two to five minutes on each side. So I will come back when everything is done so you guys can see how it actually looks because y'all this this process it actually took like a minute like two like 20 minutes for me to press all of these and to fry all of them up which made us 12 12 to 11 um tortillas okay so i'll be back when everything is done so i got majority of my tortillas done and i added some um canola oil so and i'm just gonna put it inside <laughs> i'm just gonna put it inside y'all this thing was like so frustrating like it has to be perfect so i i did i like threw that one back on the i threw that one back on my um uh, my cutting board and so I'm just going to show you guys how I fried it. So just just like you fry a pancake. So I'm showing you two fingers. I did two two minutes on each side then. But some of them, it did take longer um, than that. Guys, you have to be like really, honestly, really, really careful when you are using this and when you're making it yourself. So I'm not a quitter. Like I am very persistent and I just went ahead and did the best <laughs> that I could. And the ugly ones is like what I ate. And then my family, they still ate it. Um, Cause guess what? It's still folded like a taco at the end of the day. So that's all that mattered. Um, and as you guys can see, I got my cilantro cut up and my food is on the other eyes. They are done. We're just waiting for me to finish all the tortillas. So when I come back, you're going to see me. I think I'm going to put it together and then I'm going to eat it and show you guys. We'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to explain this process to you. And I left this thing sitting over here because I went and <laughs> to redo the other ones. So, okay, here I go. So I'm going to flip it. Y'all don't, don't use your hand. I'm so used to being in the kitchen. Um, but I wouldn't recommend anybody use your hand because it is hot, but I'm so used to it by now. So I'll be back in just a jiffy. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble my plate. So I got a plate and like all the other stuff that you see on the side because we still had tortillas cooking. And I just wanted to go ahead and get done with the video. I didn't want to keep my camera running. And I just wanted to like to pay attention to what I was doing. So here go my taco meat, y'all. Oh, it's so good. When I tell you it was so good. I love tacos. <laughs> I love tacos. Like 
I love tacos. Like tacos, if they're good, I'm I'm gonna buy it. I always try to look for taco trucks. And then I put that back. I think I grabbed my rice. Yep. Oh no, I grabbed my cilantro. So I added my cilantro. And I love cilantro to go on the tacos. I do not like romaine lettuce on my tacos. I don't even go to Taco Bell, y'all. Because I want my cilantro. I want my um I want my the right type of meat to go on there. And then I always add my lime and then my um pico de gallo and hot sauce. So you guys are gonna see that in just a moment. I'm gonna be quiet so y'all can watch me assemble my food. This is my plate, by the way. Everybody else is busy. I'm always usually like the first person to eat. And then I fix everybody else's food when I'm done because they, Nevez either outside, my husband's upstairs when he come home, everybody eat later than me. And I don't wait for nobody when it comes down to food. I'm going to eat. <laughs> if it's not Thanksgiving or Christmas, I'm going to eat. Okay? I'm going to eat. And hug me. My rice, y'all, look how pretty that rice is. Y'all, this rice literally was gone the next day. Like, everybody had something dinner, and then we ate it again the next day for lunch, and it was gone. And it was ew, so good. Look how, look how pretty. Look how pretty it just sat. Look. Just follow my, my instructions on how to cook rice. Y'all will get the perfect rice every time white rice yellow rice red rice green rice whatever color you want it and then my hot sauce usually i use um tabasco sauce but i ran out because i put hot sauce on everything and my husband likes that nasty stuff so we finna eat y'all we finna eat